Something Told the Wild Geese by Rachel Field, 1894-1942 Something told the wild geese it was time to go. Though the fields lay golden, something whispered snow. Leaves were green and stirring, berries luster glossed, but beneath warm feathers something cautioned frost. All the sagging orchards steamed with amber spice, but each wild breast stiffened at remembered ice. Something told the wild geese it was time to fly, summer sun was on their wings, winter in their cry. Okay, this poem is by Rachel Field. She was an American. She was born in New York City and brought up in Massachusetts. Um... She wrote novels, she was uh, famous for her children's fiction, she wrote poetry as well, uh, and she won various uh, prizes as well. Um, yeah, she, drama, poetry, novels, uh, things like that. So, what's this about? Well, this poem is about nature. It's about how nature knows what what to do, how nature knows when it's the right time to do something. It's describing how animals react to the natural world, yeah? And they remember winter, even though it's still warm summer. The, the tone of this poem, I think, is it's a, a, a little bit serious, yeah, it's a, a permanent focus on winter, maybe e even to unhappiness in the brightest moments. Yeah, and okay, so something told the wild geese by Rachel Field. So she's saying that something told the wild geese it was time to go. It was time to fly south for the winter. So something told the wild geese it was time to go. Though the fields lay golden, something whispered snow. Okay, so the, the geese just knew it was time to go. And I think here the fields lay golden. I think this is after summer. I think all of the uh, crops are ripe. Yeah, the wheat is, is this golden colour. And despite the, this beautiful scene, with nature is whispering to them, snow, snow. Yeah, so be careful, remember. Remember the snow is coming. Yeah, so snow, snow will be here. It's time to go, but something whispered snow. And notice, go and snow, this rhymes. And this is the uh, r rhyme of the whole poem, A, B, C, B, yeah? The second and fourth line will rhyme. Leaves were, s were green and stirring, berries luster glossed. So the all of the leaves on the trees were green and they were moving in the wind and there were berries everywhere. And the berries had this shiny luster, this shine to them. So everything looks beautiful and uh, wonderful. But beneath warm feathers, something cautioned frost. Okay, so um, something here is saying to them, I think this is nature, the personification of nature, saying to them, frost, frost is coming. Frost is when it freezes at night. So the birds, they feel warm and they're comfortable beneath their feathers. But something is telling them, frost, frost, be careful, be careful. All the sagging orchards steamed with amber spice. But each wild breast stiffened and remembered ice. 
So here the sagging orchards, to sag is to hang down and an orchard is a, a place where there are fruit trees. So this tells me very clearly it's autumn. Uh, to me this uh, gives the idea of the apple trees and the apple trees are full of, tree, of, of apples and they are sagging, they're hanging down. And it's there's this metaphor they've been steamed with amber spice the apples and that have got this orange red color to them and they, they look beautiful as if they've been cooked by the amber spice of the uh, sun and this is a lovely piece of imagery yeah so the whole world is full of uh, fruit trees full of things that full of things to eat that are ripe and ready but each wild breast stiffened at remembered ice. But something in each of the birds said to them, Ice, remember the ice. The ice is coming. It's time to go. We can't stay here. Yeah, the ice is coming. The ice is coming. Something told the wild geese it was time to fly. So the, the geese, they just knew it was time to go yeah it there's the time it was the time to leave despite the beauty of the season it's time to go and then summer was on their wings winter in their cry so the summer sun is shining on them on their wings but when they start flying we can hear winter in their voices so there's this image of the summer sun shining on the on these geese which are now flying south for the winter and we can hear winter in their cry because they're preempting winter and acting before it comes so enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and I will see you soon bye for now something told the wild geese to uh, told the wild geese by Rachel Field